Boy, I got a treat for you. Go jump off of W2BC's Top 30 Survey, July the 4th. No, this ain't it. This is the 1967 survey. Here's the 1960. Here's the 1973 survey right here of uh, July 18, 1973. See all the check marks. I've got everything except now the top five to count down on WTBC's playlist. But uh, I want to jump off the TBC survey and go to Billboard's Hot 100 the week of July 14th, 1973. Coming in at number 90. Let me dig it up for you. Coming in at number 93, up from 97, Lynn Anderson, the woman who did Rose Garden. Top of the World, her cover of Top of the World by Lynn Anderson. The song that the Carpenters would do later in the fall of 1973 and they'd take their version up to number one. Lynn Anderson's version went to number two. Now you're saying to yourself, my goodness, well how, how in the heck did uh, Lynn Anderson get around to recording Top of the World? Well, let's go back a little bit. The song Top of the World was written by Richard Carpenter and a guy named John Bettis. I gotta mention something about John Bettis. You gotta remember this about John Bettis. He later became a very prominent songwriter, particularly uh, later on in the 70s and to the 80s. He'd written a number of country hit records, but he also wrote Slow Hand by Pointer Sisters. He co-wrote that. He co-wrote the song, uh, he co-wrote Crazy For You by Madonna. He co-wrote that, 1985. He also co-wrote the song, co-written the song Human Nature, the beautiful Human Nature off the Thriller album by Michael Jackson. He wrote that song with uh, Steve Baccaro of Toto. He co-wrote this record, uh, Top of the World with Richard Carpenter. He's, he's also written some other hit records by the Carpenters, too. Uh, Richard, Carpenter's and, and, and Richard Carpenter and John Bettis. I put Richard Bettis down, but I believe it's John Bettis' his name. The album, the song originally came off the album, A Song for You. It was recorded in 1972. Song for You from 1972. It was not put out as a single in 72. Lynn Anderson heard Top of the World off that album, a song for you. She said, I like this. I'm going to record it. She decided to record it. When her version came out, Karen and Richard Carpenter had this ongoing debate. Should we release Top of the World as a single? I mean, it's a hit. Well, I don't know. Well, guess what? Lynn Anderson has come out with her version of it. Have you heard it yet? Well, no, I haven't. Well, her version is the, is a carpet copy of ours. It sounds just like our version. Maybe just a little bit more countryfied. We need to go ahead and put out our version to compete with Lynn Anderson's version. Okay. So they put out their, their version of Top of the World, the Carpenters did. Uh, on the pop charts, the Lynn Anderson version went to number 74. This was just too country. It was still too country to be played on the top 40 radio stations. But it went to number two on country. The Carpenters, they took their version up to number one. A lot of people, you know, the thing about that song is a lot of people kind of regard that as a cheesy record. And a lot of people have forgotten that Lynn Anderson did a version of that. Top of the world, top 40 extra. And by the way, that album uh, called Top of the World, Lynn Anderson, her, that album of hers went to number seven on the album charts. The album did very well for Lynn Anderson, Top of the World. All right, here it is. This is Lynn Anderson, what I would call a hot 100 extra, brought to you by Mr. DJ.